Moja kwa moja tukianza ni kuwa serikali imesitisha uzaji wa pombe ya kizazi cha pili maarufu second generation kwa ajili ya ukaguzi upya wa watengenezaji huku vita dhidi ya pombe haramu na matumizi ya mihadarati vikizidishwa. Waziri wa Usalama wa Ndani Kidhure Kindiki ametangaza hatua za kuimarisha vita dhidi ya vileo haramu na dawa za kulevya ambapo amedokeza kuwa leseni hizo zitakaguliwa katika muda wa siku na moja zijazo. Na Grace hata anavyotuarifu Agizo hili ni miongoni mwa hatua 23 au 25 kali zitakazotekelezwa mara moja ili kupiga, uh, kupiga jeki vita dhidi ya vileo haramu na mihadarati. Katika azma ya kupambana na uuzaji wa vileo haramu na matumizi ya dawa za kulevya nchini, serikali sasa imetangaza hatua madhubuti zinazotarajiwa kupiga jeki juhudi za kukabiliana na jinamizi hili. Akihutubia wanahabari baada ya mkutano wa mashauriano katika makao rasmi ya naibu rais Rigathi Gachagua eneo la Karen Nairobi, waziri wa usalama wa ndani Kithure Kindiki alitangaza kusitishwa kwa seni kwa watengenezaji wote wa pombe ya kizazi cha pili. Kindiki amesema kuwa kupitia hatua hii, serikali itaweza kutathmini upya leseni zote halali zilizopo ndani ya muda wa siku 21. All licenses and certification permits for second generation alcohol and alcoholic beverage distillers and manufacturers issued by the Kenya Revenue Authority and the Kenya Bureau of Standards stand suspended with immediate effect. All existing valid licenses will be vetted afresh within 21 days of this directive with premises approved to resume operations only upon receipt of fresh Serikali aidha imeamuru kufutwa kwa leseni zote na kufungwa mara moja kwa baadhi lizo katika maeneo ya makazi na karibu na taasisi za elimu. Hatua hii inalenga kulinda jamii dhidi ya athari mbaya za pombe haramu. Premises within residential areas and around basic educational institutions are declared null and void. County security teams are to secure and shut down and seize such promises with immediate effect. Kando na hayo serikali pia imepiga marufuku swala la maafisa wa umma kujihusisha na utekelezaji au uuzaji wa vileo kwenye ba na kuamuru kukoma au kujiuzulu mara moja. All public officer who aids and abets any offense under the act including concealing the commission of any offense and collusion shall be liable to punishment. In this regard, officers abetting, concealing or colluding with any person to commit an offense under the Alcoholic Drinks uh, Act or even under the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act shall be liable in accordance with the law. Haya najiri baada ya kindiki mwezi uliopita kulinganisha swala la pombe haramu na visa vya ujambazi na ugaidi ambavyo alisema kuwa ni tishio kubwa kwa usalama wa taifa. Nikiripoti ya Dira, Mie ni Grace Ahati.